And if you could call the young lady coming out of Wisconsin when she was what, 21? I'm guessing you graduated when she was when you were 21 or so. I'm just guessing. Yeah. If you, if you could tell her anything and say, hey, here's some advice for you based on what I know, what would you say? Chill the F out. <laughs> Uh, like don't take it so seriously like my holy cow my young career I was I had blinders on I was laser focused I was you know just running around nonstop, mm -hmm. boss lady wanting to be boss lady yeah getting stuff done if I if I would have just like chilled out I could have like really enjoyed it a little bit more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um probably you know i just i took it so seriously gotcha yeah sometimes sometimes it's good to just enjoy the moments and and, and relax a little bit or else mm -hmm. you, you raise your head and 10 years later you're like oh wow what happened to that 10 years well exactly and honestly like to working in, in professional sports it's a really high pressured job like you're putting on you know in baseball you're putting on 81 live events and sometimes 14 days in a row and so you're working non-stop right and so it's easy to kind of get caught up and like everything is like a, you're putting out a fire all the time like mm -hmm. literally all the time there's a fire to put out but if i would have just stopped and said like okay yeah like we're gonna manage this like we're, we're gonna get this done it's just it made me so stressed out <laughs> right. I like just stressed myself out for no reason. And like, that's just, we know what stress does to our bodies, you know? All kinds of things, all kinds of things. It's, it's not worth it. It's endless. It's endless. Yeah. It um, did you learn anything about being around famous people that anything like, you know, like, oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's just a regular person. I, you know, you know, so, so, so many of us worship I don't know if worship's the right word, but worship these figures like they're some sort of God figure or whatever. And yeah. you, know, you were around a lot of them. Was it was it clear to you after a while? You're like, okay, well, this is just a regular dude here. Yeah, I mean, they became my coworkers, which is so funny because I would, I would, I would refer to like the players as my coworkers, and my <laughs> friends would think it was like a joke. And I'm like, well, no, really, we're just we're, we're coworkers. Yeah. But yeah, no, but so like, um, yeah. So it's interesting, you know. There's, there's sports fanatics and we we need right. sports fanatics to keep the industry going so i appreciate i appreciate them true but the players i'm going to make a blanket statement here i can't speak for everyone but based on my experience you know the players don't even care that much so you have these fans who are fighting outside you know a ballpark over you know, and also someone getting it, like going into the hospital. Like I remember like the Dodgers and Giants, like there was this big fight and like one of the guys end up going to the hospital and like <laughs> the players go out to the bar with each other after. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the, 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 the guys like... in the in the, in the seats are like <laughs> getting all riled up and getting upset and like fighting each other. And the players like don't really, I mean, they care. <laughs> I got of course it. they care, sure. but like they're not. Right, right. They're like, what are you doing? That's what I always thought was so interesting. I was like, how are these fans getting so upset? And the guys are going to have drinks with each other after the game. <laughs> That's so funny. That is a great story. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, and you can actually see that on the field sometimes, like after a game. They're just like chatting like, oh, yeah, how's your wife? How's the kids? Blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, they're like friends. They all, <laughs> they grew up together. Like they've all gone through the minors together. They've, yeah. you know, they play a crap ton of games. They're on the road. Like they're yeah like they're so i was just mind good. blown by that like why do we worship these people why do we care so much about I like the sports know. are entertaining and don't get me wrong i still love watching them but like let's not take it so far right <laughs> especially when they don't even care that much the biggest thing is, I, I always tell people i'm gonna look guess what no matter what happens on this game that you're so wound up about it it's not going to make a difference on your life tomorrow whatsoever <laughs> life is going on <laughs> So, but anyway, uh, I don't know. For the most part, I had really fun experiences with all the guys. Um, oh, good. And it's fun, yeah. I think it's cool what you're doing. And I just love the, 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 the social mission, so to speak, of of put down your phone and just talk to each other. Jesus. Right. And I, you know, like I said, you could come back on the show and we could do a whole nother episode of just how people are walking around with their heads in their pockets. It's crazy. Totally. I just, I just find it's it. It's sad. It is completely 
ridiculous. My wife yeah. and I really watch that super closely. The, the amount, here's the other thing, and I, I keep saying I'm gonna stop talking about it. The amount of minutes wasted by human beings scrolling and just looking at dumb shit. I mean, if you're like using your phone for an app to educate you about something or you're reading it because it's you're using it as a tablet or you're right. educating you're, you're you're increasing your brain power in some yeah. way okay that's a little right. bit different but the mind numbing endless scrolling of dumb videos or hatred crap or just shit that doesn't matter oh my gosh. the amount of minutes wasted by human beings right now on that is just crazy it's crazy and it's it's crazy. It's tearing up our country. Yes, I totally agree. I totally Which is not, agree. you know, and it's also, it's also just, you know, people don't realize how much more it affects you than just right. sitting on your phone for 20 or 30 minutes. Like dopamine releases in your brain. And so yep. now suddenly it feels like you've just done a shot of heroin yep. and like your phone yep. that, you know, your phone becomes addicting. And it's just, it, it gets having so many other effects on you besides just wasting 30 minutes of your time i, I could not agree more we have, yeah. to have, you, I have to have you back on the show <laughs> i've done so much research on it i feel like sometimes like i could speak like doctor talk but one more thing on it one more thing that yeah. guy that former president of pinterest i can't remember his name he was on the documentary when he said they said what do you think what's the worst case scenario and he said civil war did you did you pick up on what he said on that i actually had told my wife that same thing several weeks ago i'm like this shit is splitting us apart. It's it creating it like like it could cause something catastrophic, like a civil war. I know that's very uh, no. uh, far fetched or whatever the word is. Maybe that's extreme, but that's what it feels like it's doing. Agreed. Listen, and I know we need to stop, but I have to also say one more thing is that I think like so what what we're trying to do is especially on Instagram because we're saying like hey this is all addicting and you know we're saying get off your phones but Instagram is where we really have to go to like reach people right so True. we we use Instagram more as like resources like to say you know don't forget to look up right now you know phone free dinners tonight and things like civil media like have we thought about maybe just making a new platform and and thinking about being civil and having just civil media and humane tech and yes. ways to be more humane in our tech? And so, you know, we we are we use we use social media, of course, but I'm not always on there just like selling the product. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, use us as a resource to be more present in your life. If you think today's tip or guest interview can help someone you know, please share this with them. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you're listening on YouTube, don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when we release a new episode. Our show features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. You can visit riderflex.com to learn more about us and get information on the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.